guys. Fuck it. It's good enough. What's up, guys? I'm Drew. And I'm Tyler. And this is going to be the first of a series that we're going to do um, product reviews. And we're going to start with our helmets. So let's get started. So I have the uh, Icon Air Mata stat graphics in black. Um, I even went ahead and bought the extra uh, blue reflect, blue mirrored uh, visor. Uh, the fit on this helmet, I went ahead, I got a large. It's actually more, it's actually more narrow than it is a round or oval, uh, an oval fit. Uh, this thing fits amazing. Um, it's very, it's very tight to get on. The once you can get it on your dome. The, the opening down here at the bottom you actually have to pull it open but I mean I'm actually quite partial to that I mean it seems like it'd be a lot harder for it to actually come off um, you know if you're ever in that situation but once it's on it fits the way it should uh, it's very it's snug but it's, there's no I haven't found any hot spots <coughs> in it yet um, it, it just feels very comfortable um, the the uh, as far as wind noise, I mean, I haven't had a ton of experience with other helmets, uh, but this one really isn't all that bad. I mean, you're going to have wind, no wind noise no matter what, um, but it's not it's not unbearable. It's I mean, I can't even really give you an accurate accurate wind noise, but it's I mean, it's definitely not bad at all. It doesn't hurt your ears or anything like that. Um, the visor I have on this one, um, it comes with the, you know, the stock clear visor. I haven't even taken the stickers off of it. I haven't even used it. Um, but the blue visor, the blue mirrored visor that I have right now, um, is excellent. It, uh, it's not, it's not shaded enough to where I mean, I could ride this until dark. It's not blocking out so much light that I can't see, but it's blocking out plenty to where I can ride it no matter how sunny it is outside and not ha not even have to worry about squinting my eyes at all. Um, my only thing that I've noticed with uh, the visor so far is it's got this nice gasket all the way around to help seal uh, for the visor, and it doesn't do it with the stock. The, the clear visor, but with this blue visor, when it's completely shut and locked at the top here, there's a much larger gap um, on the visor. Uh, it's still connected to the gasket, but it's not as snug as it probably should be, uh, and that's just me nitpicking. But I'm very, I'm very pleased with it. Um, uh, you looking down here? Oh, we can cut that out. Yeah. Now uh, the airflow on this thing. Uh, the airflow is very good. It's got these uh, two open vents right here that actually, I don't know if you can see it right here on the inside. You can actually open and close these. It's uh, It's got the mesh lining on the outside and it's not just, it's like a, a, a metal mesh. And on the inside it's got these vents that you can open and close on the chin. It's also, it also has the chin uh, vent right here and it's all these Vents are very easy to find, even with gloves on and manipulate. Uh, it's got your forehead uh, and your brow vent. Right, along the back uh, has these, uh, I forget what, what they're called. Exhaust ports. It, it's, yeah? Uh, has these nice, uh, nice sized exhaust, por exhaust ports. Um, I mean, I, it breathes wonderful. I mean, I've so far I haven't rode in any temperature higher than probably 85. I'd say it's been yeah. this year, and uh, everything on I, I've I rarely sweat. And if I'm sweating, it's probably because I'm sitting in traffic. Um, but it breathes very, very well. Uh, last thing I want to talk about with this helmet is I'm, is the best position that I've noticed that it feel that it feels like it was made for um, it fits I've noticed I mean standing up you know like going down on the interstate 
it definitely feels best in like the three quarter position. Um, I can there's definitely noticeably there's noticeably more drag uh, when you're in the standard upright position, and it definitely feels good in the full tuck. Um, but I feel like it really shines in the three quarter position. Uh, it just feels great. There's not much drag to it at all, and I mean, like I said, it breathes like a freaking champ. All right, and I've got the Fly Paradigm helmet, uh, blue, black, and white graphics. I'm not sure exactly what the name of the graphics pattern is called, but right now I have the dark tinted shield on there. Um, I have the black windscreen on here right now. Uh, this helmet also fits very well. I've had this one for, I would say, about a year and a half, so it's really, really got conformed to my head. And it's no, nowhere near as tight as Tyler's uh, Armada is. He really has to actually pull this open, but like he said, I would, I would almost prefer that just because this one, it's a, it's a large and Tyler's is a large, but this one is is a lot looser on my head, and it's not it's not even like I've got a smaller head than you. It's like the shell the shell. Of yeah, the... well, the shell, and then also with helmets, you can choose a large shell and a medium pad, and you know it just gives you a thicker pad. So you know you have options there, but but it does fit really nicely. Uh, it doesn't really wobble around any, uh, so I'm pretty happy with the fit. All the pads are, are removable. You can take them out and wash them. Uh, you can see here that I have my motor vlogging set up here with the drift camera and the mic that I've ran inside the cheek pad on the right hand side. Um, let's see. As far as wind noise goes, this is only the third helmet that I've had. So, but out of all of them, this one has been the, the quietest of all of them. It, it's you still get wind noise no matter what helmet you've got. I don't care what people say, you're going to get wind noise. A lot of people are riding with uh, ear protection on now, and I haven't really tried that out yet. But uh, you know, a lot of people say that you will lose your hearing just because of the wind noise, not because of the bike noise or anything else. Which, uh, I mean, at high speeds, wind noise can really get to you. Yeah, I mean, if you do a lot of interstate riding, it gets really annoying. I mean, on our trip down to Georgia. I mean, it, it really, it'll drown you out pretty quick. Um, the, the visor, like I said, I've got the tinted one on here right now. Uh, it came with a clear one. The only, the only complaint that I have about this helmet is the fact that pretty much all helmets have this tab on the visor that you're supposed to be able to open and close with just this tab. Um, whenever I force this thing down with just the tab, on the right-hand side, it leaves a gap. It, won't, it will not close all the way with just the tab, so I've actually got to physically put my whole hand on the face screen and slam it shut to get a tight seal. Uh, that, you know, that's pretty annoying, but it, it's not a, not a uh, huge problem, I guess. As far as airflow goes, uh, this one's pretty simple. You've got your, your uh, top mount vent that opens and closes. And then you have the front one that opens and closes, and then a single exhaust on the back, um, and then two on the lower. So I mean, not, nowhere near as much ventilation as Tyler's has, but I haven't really. Yeah, Which I mean, I've rode with Drew's helmet, and it's it does awesome as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's more than adequate. You know, you get pretty good airflow, but uh, you know, it, it could be better. So. Again, Fly Paradigm, Icon Armada, and uh, like I said, this is going to be the first series that we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do our jackets, our gloves, uh, we've got some riding pants coming that we're going to do. I'm going to do one on the drift camera, and we're also going to try and do a Senna Bluetooth review as well. So, Whenever we get one. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> but uh, that's all we've got for you on these helmets. Peace.